Hello, and this is Carlos again. Nice for tuning up to our videos. In this video, I'm going to be going through the process on how to set up your Mac so you can connect to Azure Stack. Uh, currently, Azure Stack has some scripts that allow you to VPN with Microsoft operating systems, but there's nothing for doing it with a Mac. So we're going to go through how to do that. So the first thing that you have to do is you have to connect to the Hyper-V host that uh, your Azure Stack PLC may be running. So currently it's on TV2. And what we're going to do is the first thing is that we're going to open a PowerShell window. And in that PowerShell window, we're going to download a set of scripts you can read about all the scripts on the blog post. But all that I have done is that I have automated the process to get all the required files that you need so you can use them in your Mac. So the first thing is that we're gonna download the script from GitHub. And now we're going to then expand the file. And the file is downloaded. Uh, right now we have it in right here. So if we do an ls, you're going to see that we have the master.zip file. So we're going to expand it. And now we can look that we're going to have a folder called master. And there's a couple of scripts in that location, so we have we need two of them. Uh, the first one that we need is the get Azure Stack NAT IP, and the second one is the certificate. So I'm gonna start with the certificate. So if I do get Azure Stack root certificate, uh, right now because we are in the Hyper-V host, it went and did a PowerShell connection directly to the Azure Stack Certificate Authority, and it downloaded uh the certificate and by default i'm putting that file here on your download so you see right here we have the file and the second file that we need to execute is the get azure nat ip and this goes again through powershell going through hyper-v you will go and check your bgp nat vm and it's going to query the external IP. So right here is telling us that the IP for this Azure stack, the external is a 192.168.1.231. And I just copy them right here so you can have them. So the next step that we need to do is we need to be able to get those files out. And the way that we do that, you can do it over the network. You can do it through uh, anything that you use. I'm going to be using a Enterprise file sync share. Um, let me type the password correctly. And I already created a folder. And in here, I'm going to copy my files. And I have my files now uploaded. So those files will be replicating to my Mac. So I just switch to my Mac. And the first thing that I want to do is I want to open the keychain. So let me open here keychain. And as you see, uh, I don't have a certificate for Azure Stack. And in the folder, if I just double click on the file that I just created, it's going to add that certificate to my keychain. And the first thing that you will notice is that have a red X. That means that it's not trusted. This rule certificate is not trusted. All that we have to do, we double click on it, go here to the top, always trust because everything the Azure Stack gonna give us, we wanna trust it. So when we VPN, when we access the sites, we don't have a problem. When we click the exit, it's gonna ask us for our password. And now the certificate is trusted. So we can get out of here. And the next step that I need to do, I'm gonna create my VPN connection. So you see here that you have the NAT IP. I'm gonna open it so I can have it with me and I know what is my IP. 
And the first thing that you have to do, you're going to go to System Preferences. And you're going to go here to Network. And we're going to create a new connection. To create that new connection, we go to the plus sign. And we select VPN, L2TP over IPsec, and just put a name. I'm going to use Azure Stack VPN. And I create. And here, the server IP address is that external IP for the BGP VM. So 192.168.1.231. This is administrator. And that we need to do two more changes. The first one is authentication settings. So my password is the password that you configure for your Azure stack. So when you build the Azure stack on your admin created it, um, you're going to type it on the top and also in the share secret. I'm going to click OK. And now you're going to go to advanced and you click DNS. You're not going to add a DNS server. You're just going to add a search domain. I'm going to put Azure stack dot local and press enter. Click OK and apply. Now, before I can connect, I need to add a couple of static routes for the VPN. So to add those static routes, I'm going to open the terminal. And I'm going to edit a file. And I can do it with VI that is on Etsy PPP IP up. Or you're going to create it. You're going to be asked for your password. And what I need to do, I need to create a script that will add those routes when the VPN come up. So here's a quick script. And these networks are static inside Azure Stack. So this is not, you don't have to figure this out. This is already what Azure Stack is doing. And this is how they do it in Windows. So all that we're doing is that getting the same steps in here. And this is the last one. And you save your file. You can get out and now you can connect to your Azure Stack. So you're going to connect. We are connected. And right away we get presented with a portal. I'm going to use one of the accounts that I have. I can now browse my resources, or if I want to provision something new, I have storage accounts, I can provision an OVM. So now as a developer, you can now connect from your Mac to Azure Stack without a problem. I hope that this has been helpful. If you have any questions, let me know.